So we were looking at the implementations of uh, DFT, and we said that this would be a pre-order uh, traversal of uh, a tree, and this would be a post-order traversal of the same tree. So in this case, we would start with the leaf nodes within the same branch, and then move on to the parent nodes. And then in this case, we would start with the root, and then start visiting the, ch the child nodes one by one within the same branch. So we dig deeper and deeper and deeper until we're done to the leaf nodes and then we move to the next branch. Um, these are implementations of the DFTs. So they are recursive implementations. So they, the each method actually calls itself. So if we look at this for a pre-order, basically the main difference between the, the these two functions is that in the case of the pre-order, we visit the node before actually moving on to the next one, to its child uh, uh, node. But in this case, what we're going to do is that we're going to be um, calling the same function on the children until we reach a, a node which has no children, which by definition is a leaf node. And then we visit that node, and then we start moving backwards. So in this case, we start with the children before going upwards. Um, so this is basically the, the recursive implementation of the DFT. We could also, if we wanted to, use an explicit stack and use a non-recursive implementation of the DFT. Um, so in this case, when we talk about a recursive call, what Java is doing in the background is that every time you're calling a method, it's placing the parameters of that method onto a call stack. And uh, uh, basically, these these methods or the parameters of this method, what we call a uh, stack frame, they start accumulating on the stack, and we we start addressing them one by one. So we keep track of which functions have been calling each other, and we slowly move our way backwards. So we keep on making these calls until we reach a leaf node, and then we go backwards. So we can make this relation explicit and not use recursion. And so what we're going to be doing is defining an explicit stack. So we're going to have a data structure that's a stack. We call it S. And this is going to give us the same result as uh, what we did right here. So we're going to look at the pre-order DFT case. And uh, instead of using uh, recursion, we're just going to actually use our own stack. So the first thing we do when we call DFT on a root, we're going to push that root onto the stack. And then we're going to ask the question. So this is where most of the work is being done. While the stack is not empty, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop one. So when we pop it, we actually take it off. So we're going to pop that element. And we're going to visit whatever that element happens to be. We're going to perform a computation on that element. So in this case, it's the root. So we visited the root. And then for each child of that root, we're going to push all of its children onto the stack. So let's look at this case here, since we're doing pre-order. So what we're going to be pushing here is we're going to push 2, 5, and 6. And now that we've pushed all the children, we come back here. And then we ask the question, is S empty? Of course it's not. We've only addressed root right now. We have 6, 5, 2. So we're going to pop one element. We're going to pop 6. And we're going to start dealing with it. We're actually going to visit a 6. So as you can see, we've just visited 1. We finished with 1 right here. And then let me just make that clearer. We visited 1, and um, we are visiting 6 right now, and we're going to keep on doing this. So 6, once we visited 6, we will, um, we will push its children onto the stack. So we will push 7, 8, and 9 onto the stack. 7, 8, and 9. And then we're going to start addressing 9. So in this case, it's also a post-order, a pre-order traversal, sorry. We're visiting 1, 6, 9. But as you can see, the order is a little bit different from what we had earlier. In this case, in the recursive case, we were going actually from left, and then going here, 4, and then... So we were, we were, we were addressing the branches from left, left to right. It was going somewhere like that. Whereas now, we are going from right to left. So the difference is minimal. The definition still holds. We're doing a pre-order traversal, but uh, uh, this distinction is worth pointing. So this is another implementation of pre-order DFT.